fans of privateer fx coming at you thursday 09 may got the euro dollar chart up here uh just to confirm the fact that this is 111 50, 112 50, uh until friday we do have powell speaking today uh, so that'll be interesting, 2.30 Swiss time. But um, just the options, the cluster of options uh, is keeping this thing really, really tight. Uh, today we'll continue to, with the strategy of if we see, unless it's Powell, if, if it's something that Powell says that's massively dovish or massively hawkish, uh, we do not fade. But if it's just floating up towards 112.50 were sellers. Uh, if it's floating down towards 111.50 today, we are less likely buyers because we do think uh, the eventual path on this thing is lower. Uh, so let's just take a look and see how the day goes on that. The rest of the currencies, as you can see, not much going on. Cables uh, still around 130, not doing much. Dollar Swiss is still knocking on the top side door. Um, this looks likely to break into new highs on a hot CPI tomorrow. So let's keep an eye out for that. These 102.26s, 102.35s, um, pretty interesting. There's going to be some action up there from some of the bigger players looking for an eventual break of um, 103.40. Uh, doesn't make a ton of sense except for the fact that Swiss rates are so far negative and US rates are marginally positive um, but price is telling us this this trade is this trade is about to happen so keep an eye out out for that let's go to equities uh, some Trump comments last night jam this thing lower still got our bare boots on uh, but still a lack of conviction uh, we haven't closed below 2880 yet, so today could be the day. Uh, 2880 is going to shift a couple of models, CTA models out there, and, and on a closing basis, I just know a lot of people who are looking at this level, and this is their kind of aha moment um, for a perhaps change in trend. Obviously, the daily close is 14, 15 hours away, so we're not going to get too... Uh, super excited here at 2870 but we do have a 10 handle head start here core short is the way careful core short you want to book profits uh, get yourself an average because this is just it's just common driven right I mean uh, as so quickly as he said China broke the trade deal he could come back and say China saved the trade deal or he won't say that he'll say I saved the trade deal uh, it's back on so there's just going to be some headline volatility in stocks. And this is kind of where a lot of the action is, right? FX is, is very, very quiet. We're spending most of our day uh, trading stocks these days. So keep your eyes on the headlines. The Chinese delegation arrives today. Um, they'll sit down for dinner tonight. And... Um, the tariffs begin, I guess, 12.01 Friday, um, according to what I've read. So should continue to see more downward pressure than upward pressure. I don't think there's any way they can save this whole deal today. So uh, we're going to continue to sell high ones, be core short. Let's look at this euro yen kind of not doing much right these are very very small daily bars here but we did tri pr print down to 122.90 with this stock move um, 10 held for for f you know four times there so back up through 10 or 15 there's going to be some stops here not really a tons to do um, no dog in this fight, really. Sterling Yen yesterday got paid on that. Uh, we ended up taking taking everything back in the 20s. 
uh, traded down to 87 last night with this dollar yen move. Um, if you're still short, this looks pretty constructive on the short side. Uh, we are not short, but technically you could argue that we should be. Just looking at these retraces here. Up to 94. Yeah. Really never went never went higher after 55. Um, this one stings a little bit in hindsight. But anyway, um, if you're short, looks like you should stay short. You can sell into that uh, 40 to 70 zone, 143.40.70 today. Uh, we've already made a new daily low. Of course, this is sort of comment driven. This is a risk trade combined with a little bit of Brexit bullshit. Um, but Brexit doesn't look like it's going that great either. So short sterling end looks looks okay. Let's have a look at this uh, Aussie here. 69.60 uh, was the low on Monday, 62 on the crazy Monday open. Seems like a long time ago, right? Monday was the craziness, 50-point uh, gap in Aussie. Uh, we've closed, we, we, we closed that gap, obviously, uh, already this week, but uh, new lows would be interesting. Uh, and if we had some more volatility, you could probably break trade this. But, um, again, kind of all one trade here. This is all basically China trade deal stuff. Uh, but six, below 69.60 would be significant. Finally, Kiwi. Not doing too much. Big tail yesterday after the RBNZ bar, but now it's just being dragged lower in sympathy uh, with the Aussie. And, you know, if you did sell in the 90s yesterday, bravo didn't quite get to 05, did it? 04. No, I'm sorry. 98 was the high. Uh, we were talking about selling between 05 and 15. Did not <coughs> did not get paid there. But um, this looks less offered than it should be, really. I mean, they just cut rates. We had this massive negative news overnight. This should be a lot lower. The fact that it's not makes me things that make me go hmm not sure I'd be short Kiwi but no dog in this fight um, we're just short stocks we're short a little bit of DAX um, let's take a look at these BTPs yesterday nice little move down to 20 but a pretty big retrace we're smashing grabbing these uh, but we are gonna resell this again today same idea uh, between 20 and 40 uh, you can resell your BTPs. I think there's more news to come out uh, from Salvini on the budget. Quick look at the calendar today. Uh, obviously, Powell is hugely important. We have Canadian trade and the first set of inflation numbers from the U.S., which is PPI, which is less interesting than CPI. So Powell is the uh, the main focus. Uh, I'm on an airplane uh, just after Powell, off to London, as uh, most of you know from Twitter. Uh, and a couple of you are still asking, yes, we are uh, doing this hysterical sort of meet and greet at this bar in Paddington called the Mad Bishop. I will be there with a group of guys, uh, the guys from Privateer and a few other guys uh, from the business. If you want to swing by and say hello, any questions, see the whites of our eyes, please feel free to swing by. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Uh, let's make some money today and I will not be doing a call Friday morning. Um, so you will hear from me again on Monday. Ciao.